friends, Happy New Year, and welcome to Hudson County TV. I'm Fernando Uribe, the special edition of the Uribe Society. Coming to you from Jersey City, where Stephen Phillips can be headquarters grand opening. We may be in the middle of winter, and the cold temperatures are still with us. In the next four months, it's going to heat up here between him and incumbent mayor Jeremiah Healy. With issues such as crime, property taxes on the rise, and the need for accountability at City Hall, these and other issues will be leading the way for this campaign. Without a doubt, Councilman Fulop faces an uphill battle here without any county machine support. And with so many volunteers still packing the premises today, we are looking to help Councilman Fulop make it all the way to City Hall on May the 14th. We'll see how he does. But regardless, the turnout here today was tremendous, and at the same time, so is the passion for his campaign. Capacity crowd greeted Jersey City Councilman Stephen Fulop during the unveiling of his brand new campaign office on the west side of Jersey City. Hudson County Freeholder William O'Day welcomed the crowd and assured them of his support for not only Councilman Fulop but the entire ticket standing on stage. So now I'm going to introduce the captain. He's our captain of the team for the next four months and then for the next four years. But in order to get four years, it's like preseason or training before the fight. We got to put the best damn four months that we've ever put in in our life. And this captain will make sure that, that we do that. Stephen Fulop assured the crowd that should he and his ticket be elected, his administration will be one of accountability, transparency, and responsibility at City Hall. And I know that always in government and history of politics in this city, there's a lot of distrust and there's a lot of skepticism. And we all appreciate that. But I know that if you give me the opportunity and you give this team the opportunity to show you that things will be different, we will achieve more than you think we will achieve. I can promise you that. Right. If you look back at everything we've done up till now, we are doing it with volunteers, and we are not doing it by little margins. We are doing it with record historical numbers in the history of the city. And I'm telling you today that our goal for May 14th is record historical numbers in the history of Jersey City. And we're going to do it. It was certainly a lively crowd, and they were completely supportive of Councilman Fulop and everyone who joined them on stage. See, there are some whispers that State Senator Cunningham might throw her name into the race. It's four months to go. Does that concern you because of what it could do to your voter turnout? Senator Cunningham, um, she's, uh, she'd be a strong candidate, and uh, we don't really think too much about uh, other candidates getting in. It's, uh, that's the nature of democracy. Anybody can get in. Uh, we're just focused, and we know that if we do what we're supposed to do as far as organizing and messaging here, we'll be fine, regardless. Steve, the city obviously is in dire need in so many areas. What are the three areas specifically that you can tell residents about that you're going to focus on? We're going to focus on uh, police restructuring, improving crime prevention. We're going to focus on tax stabilization, tangible plans. And we're going to focus on youth activities and recreation. Are you concerned about the, the machine here in Hudson County making life difficult for you in these next four months? Yes. Okay. What, what assurances have you received aside from Fielder O'Day? Do you expect any support from any other major political figures here in Hudson County? None. In the coming months, it will prove to be a very formidable campaign between himself and incumbent mayor Jeremiah Healy. Thank you so much for joining me. For more programming, please go to HudsonCountyTV.com.